Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 97 of our Enigmatica 6 Let's Play series. 97 episodes, man, we are like... That is... That's pretty darn good, I would say. I mean, almost to 100. That's a lot of episodes. Anyway, for those of you who have stuck around, I definitely do appreciate it, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Continuing on, I think our next goal in Blood Magic, I mean, obviously our next goal, we're going to be upgrading towards uh, Rune 4 Altar, but we first need to upgrade our Blood Orb because we didn't do that last episode. So let's go ahead and pop one of these guys in there, and we have enough. It was only 3,000 to do this. So this is going to get us the next tier of Blood Orb, which I lost my Blood Orb again. I put it away, apparently. So this will get us the Tier 2 Blood Orb. The Tier 3 Blood Orb, on the other hand, requires 25,000 LP to make the Magician Blood Orb. Now, we have a couple of options when it comes to doing that. We could, uh, I mean, we can stand here and stab ourselves, beep, 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 until we get to, you know, 25,000 LP, which honestly is probably the route that we are going to take because we want to get um, Runes of Capacity. And in order to get Runes of Capacity, we need to, well, we can craft them, or the next step when we upgrade to the Blood Altar, Tier 4, gets us 8 Runes of Capacity. So instead of crafting them, we could just get to this tier, and that will get us the 25,000 LP that we're going to need. So, what we're going to need for that is 28 more blank runes, which we already have some. Um, we have 17 of these. We're going to need another, what, 18 or 11 to get to the 28 total for this. So we need to put another 11 pieces of stone in here to craft. Um, so let's get stone, and we need 11, which is unfortunate that we don't, we can't do 10. And we can turn this guy back on, so he'll pull out the blank slates for us, and just go ahead and put that in there. And then let's go ahead and give ourselves a stabby stabby. I tried to farm Will in between episodes, but goodness gracious, it takes forever to do so, so... Yeah, that might be something that we do over multiple episodes because it just takes forever just standing there slaying mobs. Not the most entertaining thing to do when you're just waiting in between episodes. Almost killed myself. Wasn't paying attention. Uh, hopefully I'm able to keep up with this. I don't see the blood going up at all, which is slightly concerning. Oh, did they convert to tier two? They did. It, it couldn't pull out fast enough, is what it was. Uh, so I need five more. And we have some of these guys. Well, that's okay. They couldn't pull out of there fast enough. Uh, can this? Can I set this thing to pull as a stack? Like, no. What you would need would be speed upgrades. Speed from modular routers. So it can pull as fast as it can. That should do it. Um, so now I need to get more blood in here because it's going to immediately start out failing. That sound is probably very annoying to y'all, and I apologize for that. But that's the way we're filling up our altar from henceforth. So just uh, keep that in mind. We could set up a ritual to do like mob damaging and stuff, but at the same time, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Um, okay, so you're going to get the five in there, and you actually should have enough blood in you to not need me to do this. So if I tick accelerate just a little bit. Okay, cool. It pulled out much faster that time. So there's the 28 blank slates that we're going to need. We're also going to need, though, these bloodstone bricks. And bloodstone bricks are made from large bloodstone bricks, which require us to make a weak blood shard. Now, to get a weak blood shard, we need our orb. And it is specifically saying that it wants a master blood orb, which is tier 4. But in order to get a blood... Yeah, that's not possible. So it's going to have to be a lower tier blood orb. Uh, maybe we need the imbued slate. Yeah, we'll need the imbued slate recipe. That is what it is. So we need to make this alchemical reaction chamber first. 
um, which is going to require two imbued slates. I think I only have one, don't I? Yes. So let's go ahead and get those reinforced slates that we had. And we will just cook up two of those in here. Speed it up just a little bit, okay? Give me that, and then you. And good. Okay, so now we have those. So then we need to make this, which is gonna require us to put a blood orb. Um, also need the furnace. And if we put our blood orb there, should be crafting. Do I not have any blood in my, uh, requires a magician or master. So we don't have a choice. We're gonna have to do the stabby stabby. Okay, it's what it wants. It wants us to stabby stabby ourselves a lot. So yeah, don't blame me that I'm stabby stabbing. It's gonna take 25,000 LP to do this, so. Can't keep up. That was a mistake to do. Tick accelerating that was not what I should have done. Well, let's just take that out of there. I should have tick accelerated it after I had a full altar instead of waiting. And now I gotta wait for this to finish. It's tick acceleration, which is what, 30 seconds or so? Yeah, don't try and tick accelerate your blood altar unless you're actually ready to tick accelerate your blood altar. Just saying, word of advice. Make sure it's at full capacity before you start tick accelerating. And maybe don't jump up to 32 times speed because you can't keep up with that. Let's just do like, you know, two, which is 8x. Yeah, because we're having a hard time keeping up with 8x. Oh, no, don't. I killed myself. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen at some point, and it did. Oh, my goodness. I was not paying attention. <laughs> well, all right. And yet again, we ran out of LP in our system. Uh, all right. For the 50th time, let's try this again. Let's get our blood up. And I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera because I guarantee that sound is driving everybody nuts. And uh, we'll come back when we get the next tier orb. Okay, and finally got it. Magician blood orb gained, bound to us. We're ready to go. Okay, so back to what we were doing, which was trying to create craft an alchemical reaction chamber which is this guy here. Give me my orb back. And task completed for this. Now we need a sanguine reverter and a weak blood shard. Okay, so to get the weak blood shard, we need a sanguine reverter, which is going to be this stuff inside of a Hellfire Forge. Hopefully we have enough Tartaric will for this because I don't quite know. Uh, battery, you can go like really anywhere it doesn't really matter like sure um let me clean up my inventory after dying hey i finally figured out what to do with our levels by the way just die and then we don't have to worry about not having any levels or having too many levels anymore yeah the andrada master genius uh so what do you need you need andesite or stone shears imbued in iron so stone, where's the shears imbued and please tell me I have enough will for this. I don't. Son of a gun, the will is the worst part of this whole thing because it just takes forever standing there trying to get all of this will. But I don't have a choice. Where's my backpack? Oh, is it back on my back? It is probably back on my back because I uh, don't have the jetpack anymore, which is what went on my back slot. Sweet. I forgot about, I could put that back there. Um, so we need will, and that is, that is annoying. Oh, look, minimum 350 will, drained 30. We need a lot of will. And then the common can only hold, I don't even know. 
Let's go outside and try and slay some regular mobs. Maybe that's a little bit more entertaining than standing there just mash and click. Otherwise, we're going to just stand there and mash click. Is it nighttime? Can it please be nighttime? Let's go home and take a nap. Cannot believe I died. I have not died in a very long time. And I was not paying attention at all and stabbed myself to death. At least I didn't die from, like, mobs. You know? At least it wasn't mobs that killed me. It was my own foolishness for not paying attention. Um, come on. Something spawn in. It is nighttime. Come on, mobs. Come on. Oh, you know where there's mobs? I bet you there's a bunch of mobs here because I cre accidentally created this dark zone. Yeah, die, everybody, die. Something slowed me. There we go. This is what's up. Am I getting more? Skeleton, or that elephant is not happy that that skeleton exists, by the way. So I need 350 in this. I have 105 now. So basically, what I'm going to do is just fly around and kill all the mobs. Because that's all I can do. Does thing have Vorpal? Because that just killed that guy pretty quick. Here's a bunch. Thank you, Creeper, for killing the mobs for me. I don't think you helped me, though. All right, well, I'm going to... I'll do this off camera. I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me farm 350 will in this gem. I don't even know if this gem can hold 350. Based on the fact that it's at 132 and almost half, it looks like it can only hold 300. So I'm probably going to have to upgrade that. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Okay. I did have to go and upgrade to the common Tartaric gem, by the way, because um, the other one only holds 256 will. So, yeah, but we finally got 300, more than 350. We have 423 will in our gem, so we can go ahead and make our Sanguine Reverter. It just needed stone, shears, stone, you, shears, and what? A uh, piece of iron. And then this guy's going to go here. It required a minimum of 350, and it's only going to use 30. So that'll keep us above the 350 as well, which is nice. We got a Sanguine Reverter. And then in order to progress, we need an Alchemical Reaction Chamber, which we made, and we need to put that Sanguine Reverter in there. Um, how this works, I don't entirely know. Do you need, like, power? What do you need? Like, I'm going to put you in here. How do you work? Uh, usage of you. So you, ah, oh, you needed an imbued slate. That's what it was. You needed a imbued slate. Which I don't have. Uh, how about a reinforced slate? I can make one up really quick. How you doing on LP? You only have four buckets. I think it takes five to make this, so... Give me that. And then you go in here somewhere and you're gonna do the thing. It's doing the thing. Shabam, weak blood shard. We got one, yes. And we can make 31 more is as needed. So then that gives us that. And then we needed four bloodstone bricks, which is what we were working towards. Um, so you're telling me we need, yeah, bloodstone. Bloodstone bricks, which is this, and then this. And then we just needed um, 28 more 
which I just realized I used one of my things to make my... Wait, no. Did this end up in here? It did. Okay, so now we can make our runes. Blank runes. Just need to put that in there and... 20, we just need some more stone. Yeah, I can't believe we used all our stone already. Um, you gonna work? Yeah, you'll work. You'll work just fine. Give me that back. And there's that. And that is Blood Altar, Tier 4. Give us our runes of capacity. All this work, that is what we came for. Let's go. Let's upgrade to the next tier. Where do I find that in here? Blood Altars. Um, The Blood Altar. I think it was in here. Yeah. Max tier. Let's rock. All right. Bam. Okay. So then we need to go to this tier. Yes, right? Yeah, right above the bedrock. So let's just break all this. It's very difficult to see with this stuff in the way, by the way. And then again, down two. And I was worried about this, but it worked. it's going to actually work out just fine for us. Because tier five doesn't exist, and yeah. So let's just go ahead and get all these. And these can be covered, like I said before, we'll cover them up. Um, inconveniently, all my stuff is in the way. That's okay. Drop down. Uh, okay, so then we got eight capacity, so we can do what, two per side, I guess? So if we do right in the middle, we do like this and this, this and this, 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 and there and there. And then the rest is just our blank runes. That should be more than adequate. My watch just told me I need to breathe because blood magic and the will farming has been a, well, Annoying to say the least. Uh, let's go over here, here. Okay. And then we can just cover all that back up with our polished brick. But it will work, which is what matters. Mm, I can't see that one, so it doesn't matter. Um, boom, boom, boom. And then we need to make another pillar of brick and then those bloodstone on top. Bam. And then finally, you. And if we get our book back out, um, which is in our altar, and we unvisualize, this should now be a tier four. Uh, the best way to find that out is going to be A, first off, do we have more capacity? We do. We have 26 buckets available to us inside of here, or 25,000 LP. We ended up with extra runes somehow. And if we do a slate, which means we're going to need a piece of stone, but if we do turn this off, we can put just a piece of stone in here. Curious, will this work in here? Does it require stone stone or is it any stone? It looks like it's any stone. And we sacrifice ourselves a lot. We should be able to get a tier four slate is what I'm expecting out of this. We also have 26 buckets worth of 
uh, capacity instead of here, which is why it's taking longer. It's not that these slates take long to make, like a ton of LP to make. Ooh, almost did it again. Uh, luckily, I saw that. Huh, almost just killed myself again. All right, we have imbued, and it is cooking, which means that it should be cooking up to a tier four. And almost there. Goodness gracious, that's draining a lot of uh, LP. I really should make the thing so I can see that we're at tier four, but hey, we have demonic slates. That means we're at tier four. That's what matters. All I cared about, getting to tier four. So with that being said, we can now make the next tier of blood orb, which is the master blood orb, I think. Yes, which requires one of those weak blood shards um, and 40,000 LP. So I'm not gonna be worrying about that too much at the moment because we're not exactly there yet. Um, so our next steps really are, I mean, to set up rituals, we looked through the book, and I don't know if I saw any rituals that I necessarily wanted to use or set up, to be honest with you. So let's take a look in here. We got the tier four. Um, oh, yeah, we can't see rituals in there. Um, Gift of Ignis. Day and night arrays. This is one thing I was looking at. Time-based arrays are straightforward arrays that control the time of day. The items will be consumed once the array starts changing the time. The recipes are temporary and will change in the future. So you put down your arcane ashes and you put down coal and it will turn it to day. And if you do lapis, it turns it to night. Let's check that out. Lapis and coal. Okay, so let's go. Oh no, I need the dank. Come back, Dink. We're at tier four, so we have the ability to make whatever it is that we want. So that was the that was the rush to get to tier four there. But let's set this up. So let's do this, and we'll say lapis. That makes it night, correct? Do I need to do anything special? I have to activate it somehow, don't I? Uh, where's my book? Um, the night array would change it. Yes, you do the thing and then you, how do you activate this? Basics. Uh, okay, so you make the ashes, you create it, right click the top of the ground, consume one dura durability. Um, when you click it, it will consume a single item from the stack in your hand. These items are used. A base and a catalyst. The base is the first item that you click the array with after it is drawn, and the catalyst is the second item. Okay, so we probably needed two pieces of coal and two pieces of lapis. So let's try that. So if we do this and this, there we go. And now it should start turning it to night. And look, sun is setting. Moon is rising. It just basically accelerates time. That's pretty cool. This, this would have came in handy if I would have done this before I did Astro Sorcery. Um, so if we do our coal, it'll start turning it into daytime. So the moon should start skyrocketing. Yeah, look at that. It just accelerates time. That's really cool. Those are very handy. I like that. Can Arcane Ashes be enchanted? You know, can I get like any kind of a... Uh, Unbreaking on here. They actually can be enchanted. Um, but it gets Curse of Vanishing. Don't necessarily want that. But hey, look, now we have Unbreaking on here. That's nifty. Just get out of here, buddy. Okay? Just leave me alone. Um, yeah, I think that's about all that I want to do with um, Blood Magic. Outside of the uh, Ritual of the Green Grove, that's really all that I, you know super really wanted out of blood magic and i don't even need the ritual of the green grove because we have this trees growing crazy and we also have the ability to um grow things with uh ars nouveau so i think that's about all that we're gonna get out of blood magic 
Um, so what else have we got to dive into? We're like really wrapping up with this pack. There's not like, I mean, we've dove into most every section of the mods. I mean, we haven't done like the mycelial reactor, but I don't know if there's necessarily a need to. The only really major thing that's left is mechanism and getting set up to do the uh, reactor into um, antimatter. So maybe we start working towards this. Um, I don't know. I don't know. The first step in actually constructing a fission reactor is building a safe place to put it. Yeah, we know. We're going to go over to our other base. Now this is, we're going to follow the guide to make a small reactor, but we need to, uh, we're going to need to build bigger reactors as we go along. But the guide and the copy and paste that we have make smaller reactors. But I think, does any of this require us to have like HDPE or, yeah, HDPE? That's the question. Because I don't have that set up. I could. We could easily set something up for that, but we don't have it just yet. Um, our goal is to create polonium, though. Yeah, I think maybe we'll start diving into this uh, fission reactor, and then we also need to start working on doing fissile fuel as well in order to fuel the reactor, because we have the fission reactor, and then we have the fusion reactor. Though to make the fusion reactor... I'm pretty sure it requires stuff from, yeah, it requires polonium. So you can't do fusion until you get to fission. Fusion is awesome, though, because it doesn't require any inputs other than water. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it really does help the channel, and I do appreciate it. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.